Oh yeah! At Games, just drop the mic. All right, guys, I don't know what to say. At Games just keeps blowing it out of the park. So let's check it out real quick. New feature, it should be available when I publish this video on Wednesday morning, so check it out. So you're gonna go over to settings, and under settings, you're gonna find this option now for Bluetooth client. And what this does is it allows the at Games Legends Ultimate Control Panel to act as a Bluetooth controller to a RetroPie. Yup, so that mod I did where I did the brute force mod and I put the T connections on, although that was innovative, um, it, it's not necessary anymore. And actually I talked to PK, the CEO, and he said, and I don't know if he was tooting my horn, but he said that when he saw that, that was his inspiration to get the team and challenge them to do this. So that is really cool. Talk about a company listening to the people, modding it and playing with it, out of control, never seen this before. It's totally crazy. So anyways, how you work this is you go to the Bluetooth client section, you go to Bluetooth client, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect this as a client. So before you do this, you're gonna need to connect a RetroPie to the HDMI connection of your actual at games control panel. You can put it in any of the available HDMI connections. So you're gonna put it in HDMI connection and you're probably gonna to wanna to put a keyboard or another controller on it just so you can do the basic level configuration. But basically what happens is once you have that up and running, you go here and you say apply Bluetooth client, bam. So now you're gonna see it's gonna be discoverable by my Pi for the next about 190 seconds I think it is so I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna switch on my Pi and then I'm gonna see if I can discover this as a Bluetooth controller okay so you're gonna go over to the front panel here and you're gonna plug in your Pi I plug mine into the right HDMI port the button here is gonna select the HDMI input remember the red light is for the right port and the green light is for the left port all right so now we're over at the HDMI input for the Raspberry Pi so we're gonna go over we only have like two minutes to do this so we're gonna go over to retro Pi options we're gonna go over to Bluetooth. And depending on the build you have of RetroPie, it might look slightly different. So I'm gonna say register and connect Bluetooth devices. Now the Bluetooth device I'm searching for is the actual control panel on the Legends Ultimate Arcade. So we'll wait for this to come up. Okay, so you're looking for something that says rock chip. Okay to that. I'm gonna say okay to this. Once that's complete, it says the device is registered. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna to go to cancel. Now it's gonna go back into RetroPie. Now from here on out, I need to do one more step. I need to go into my configuration for the inputs. And now it should show me that it detects two game pads. One is the one I have plugged in to navigate the menus right now while I don't have anything plugged in. And the other one is gonna be the Legends Ultimate. So we're gonna go over and we're gonna configure the Legends Ultimate. And then you can see how this is gonna work. Okay, excuse the mess here, but as of filming this, you're not gonna have a second player controls. You're only gonna be able to use one player, but that's gonna be coming here shortly. So you're gonna hold down the A button, and then you're gonna see it's gonna ask you to input uh, some commands. So you're gonna go up, down, left, right. Start, I would make the player one start. Then you're gonna have select, which I'm gonna make select um, the rewind button. And then you're gonna do A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, and then here you're just gonna hold one button down and just hold it down. You're gonna hold, press it, hold down, long hold, press, long hold. If you're familiar with Pi, this is something you've definitely done before. So just do it till you get to the end. And then when we get to the end, we're gonna do our hotkey, which is gonna be our rewind button. At this point, we're just gonna hit A, and we are actually good to go. We should be able to control the menu system, press B for back, press B for back, and now, we're controlling the menu system with the arcade controls. So we can go in and really do whatever we want at this point. I'm gonna go back to my desk and uh, we'll take it from there, but I'll show you this thing working. Okay, so we're back in front of the arcade cabinet. Now, I'm gonna make this pretty quick. You're probably wondering, where is my Pi? The Pi is actually mounted underneath here. I put some Velcro on it, stuck it in there, and then run, ran the wires for power and HDMI right here to the top. So super simple. You can simply put the Pi on the side, on a table, anywhere you want, as long as you can plug in a micro USB for power and your HDMI, 
you're good to go. And I would suggest plugging in a controller for the basic config before you set this up as your Bluetooth controller and you should be, if you're fairly comfortable with Pies, this should be pretty easy. So after you're here, you know, like any Pi image, you can put whatever games you want on it. I've got Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, 32X, PlayStation, things I like to play. Um, I have Neo Geo because I love Neo Geo. This, is, this image is actually uh, called Neo Pi. But anyways, I'm gonna show you a Neo Geo game real quick. Polestar is a game I really love. It's got a killer rock and soundtrack, super fun. This Pi image, I really like, some people may not be a big fans of because it has gigantic bezels that eat up a lot of your screen, but I like it because they made the bezels look like real arcade bezels, like the plexiglass looks worn and everything and scratched. It's really cool, but some people may not like that. So don't keep this as your reference point for everything. You can do whatever you want, use whatever Pi image you want or build your own. But anyways, you got the rewind button is your credit button and start is gonna be your um, start, player one start. And uh, yeah, if you've never checked out this game, definitely check it out. My buddy Scarlet Sprites has a really cool channel where he focuses a lot on Neo Geo and he actually, I think he bought the CD soundtrack to this game. The soundtrack to this game is totally awesome. So if you've never checked it out, definitely do so. All right guys, it is final thoughts time. So what did you think of this? I personally am pretty damn stoked about this. So imagine they, within like a month of the product being available, they've done all these updates and you know, the local streaming thing was cool, although it had a little bit of a hiccup, but now you can hook up your own pie to it? I mean, guys, this is pretty freaking amazing and they're listening to the community. I mean, it has almost become the end all be all budget Multicade. I mean, it doesn't almost, it has. So, I mean, how crazy is that? And we're only a month in? Like, what else could they possibly do? So, I mean, you gotta kind of hand it to them. I mean, yes, I personally was affected by something, but I'm not gonna let that hiccup, even though it kind of stunk, but I'm not gonna let that tarnish everything because they keep showing that they're willing to help and that they're willing to improve the product. This is a different at games as far as this product is concerned. So don't let the past dictate the future because they're doing a lot of amazing things. So I love the fact that they did this mod. Uh, the other thing that I'm really excited about is I don't know if it's going to be out yet when I when I show this video because I'm going back east to visit my family but uh, for Thanksgiving, but they do have a two-player support option for ArcadeNet so I can play another player somewhere else in the country. So I actually played Glenn from Glenn's Retro Show today in Metal Slug. Well, not played him, but uh, played with him. So we did like a co-op Metal Slug. It was really, really fun. And, uh, you know, what a neat what a neat option. So there's probably going to be like a ton of videos and I'll probably be having serious FOMO because I'm going to be in Rhode Island like eating turkey and someone's going to be posting a video about it. And, you know, I wish it could be me, but it won't be me because I'll be eating turkey. And, and uh, I think my parents would get a little upset if I'm like, I got to do YouTube when I'm in uh, when I'm in Rhode Island. I got to take a break. Right. Got to enjoy the family. So that's important. Hopefully you guys can do the same. So, guys, that is it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this there's a bunch more coming and there's a bunch on the channel for you to check out and uh yeah let me know what you think in the comments below so that's it for now guys hope everyone has a great thanksgiving and we will see you on the next one